Now, Dino Pants, you're in the handyman zone. What you're going to see here is an example of a switch, but could also be like an outlet or um, any, any other kind of receptacle that has the speedy connect in the back. And I'm just basically showing you guys how to uh, remove the wire from that because a lot of times you'll find the wires in the box when you take the switch or, or whatever out of the wall the wires is kind of short and if you clip it and strip it it's going to be even shorter you're going to lose another half an inch so this is a way to get those receptacle slash switches whatever off the wire without uh, cutting it and and having a you know like pigtail to extend it or something like that which makes even more uh, clutter in the box and a lot of these boxes are tight so if you put it if you pigtail an extension and put a big wire nut in there you you know it's even more of a headache so the quick way to remove them and you can put the new switch or receptacle right back on the same way with the speedy connect although I have found over time the best way to connect is with the screw so you put a little loop in the wire and you use the screw and make it nice and snug the speedy connects are fine but over years and I'm talking like five ten years you know as you're using wires and the circuits get used they heat up and cool down heat up and all of those cycles will actually make up for a bad connection at that speedy connect so you may find like ten years down the road that you're having like intermittent uh, problem you know you touch or you walk past the switch or receptacle it's going on and off it's because there's corrosion and it's causing um, uh, trouble with the electrical flow I find the best way is to screw, but if you want to do the speedy connects, they're there, they're approved, you know, code and everything else is cool with them, but it's just, I find it's better to use the screw. So here's a light switch. Now you can put the wire with these screws, but a lot of times they'll use that speedy connect in the back where you just strip the wire and you stick it in the, you would just strip the wire like this red wire, right? You can see it's just stripped and they stick it in the hole. And there's usually a hole for each. Like this hole is for that screw and that hole is for that screw. So to get it out, we're going to take a regular small bladed screwdriver and we stick it in there. And you push down really good and the wire will just come out. So you got to push down really good. There we go. See? So there, there it is and it just, whatever. I just showed you how to do it. So that's how you do it. Look, guys, thanks for watching. Again, it's Dino Pinch in the Handyman Zone. This is what I do, making YouTube videos, YouTube handyman stuff. Thanks for watching. Now that the video is over, please subscribe to my channel. Just click right there. Rate the video, and the comment box is there for you guys to use. So feel free to use the comment box and let other people know what you're thinking.